In this lecture, you're going to learn how to display default profile pictures for registered members. And in the subsequent lecture, we're going to learn how to allow users upload profile pictures and also validate these profile picture to ensure that they are actually uploading valid images. Let's get into our code editor and see how we're going to implement this. Right. So the very first thing I'm going to do here is to create a folder that we are going to store the pictures. So I'm just going to call this directory uploads. Next, we're going to download a default profile pictures that we're going to display for every registered user. So I'm going over to Google and I'll search for default profile pictures. So I need a JPEG. So let's take this one and we're going to save it to our project. So save as alt upload and I'm going to save this as default. All right, so we go back to our test editor and see that we have the default.png, but actually I need a default.jpg. So we're going to go back here and download a JPEG file. I think this is going to be a JPEG. Okay, so we're going to download this one. So the next thing that we're going to do is to actually go over to our past profile script. Then we're going to add the script here to actually display the profile uh, picture of the user if they have uploaded one or display the default picture that we've just downloaded here. Over here, we're going to check. First of all, we declare the variable to hold the path to the user's profile picture. And we're just going to call this user underscore peak. This will be equal to upload. slash then we're going to put the username here next we're going to declare the path to the default picture all right so now the reason why i'm using the username variable here is because when we are going to upload the profile picture for each user we're going to use their username to save the picture and we're going to give it an extension of uh, jpg so next we are going to now check to see if the user have uploaded a profile picture then we we'll display the profile picture otherwise we're going to display the default picture so we'll put an if statement here so we're going to say if i exist if i exist we we'll put our user pick part here if I exist, then variable profile picture going to be equal to user pick. Otherwise, we're just going to set the profile picture variable to be equal to the default. So correct this to E with default. Next thing we're going to do is go over to the profile page and uh, display the profile picture somewhere. Right, so over here, right above the table, we're going to create a div. So we'll give this a class of role. And within this div, we're just going to open the image tag. And the source of the image will be going to use the PHP tag to display this. We're going to check if that variable profile pick is set. So I'll go over here and just grab this. So if it's set profile pick, we're going to echo the profile pick. So the image will give you a class of IMG, IMG rounded with a bit of style. Then we're going to set the width to 200. All right. So this is all we need to do to display the default profile picture. If the user has not uploaded a profile picture, we'll go over to the browser and uh, just test this out to see if the image is going to display properly. Click on profile and we can see here that the default profile picture uh, is being displayed. So we could maybe give a little space here. 
over here and uh, set the style margin to uh, 10 pieces. So here we we'll just give a style, set the margin button to 10. Let's go over to the browser and do a refresh. So that's all for this lecture. In the next video, we're going to uh, write a functionality to check to see if the user is attempting to upload a valid image.